holidays, my friends, and welcome back! It is day 22 of Advent Calendar Madness. I'm Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. And I've got chocolate milk. <laughs> and you feel a little better, too. I've been coughing a lot, but I definitely feel better than I was. It was... I'm glad it didn't linger too long. <laughs> this, this close to Christmas. It's just drainage. It's a lot of drainage just going on right now, and I blame the weather changing. And, and Spencer. And our son being sick all the time. <laughs> Every time he gets sick, one of us gets sick. Every time. If you've got kids, you understand how that goes, I'm sure. <laughs> a cycle. It is a cycle. So we're on day 22, which means we are down to the last couple days of the show. But we're still planning to have a lot of fun. Thank you guys for joining us every single day. We really, really appreciate you guys continually tuning in to watch us just goof off and have fun with you guys. It's been a really fun part of our Christmas tradition. And uh, we're really happy that you guys also make it part of your Christmas tradition to watch us. So thank you guys very much. And uh, before we dive into all the toy stuff, since we're kind of nearing the end of the show here, we have a lot of creepy Santas to show you guys. You guys have been submitting pictures and I feel like every day we just get more and more than we did the day before, which is amazing. You guys are so awesome. And I love that you love this segment so much. So without further ado, it's creepy Santa time. He's gonna steal all the spotlight this time. Get out of here, creepy Santa car. Get out, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Oh, the battery compartment opens. I love that fit. Okay, ah, stop him. I love that this thing takes like D batteries. Look at those giant things. C batteries. Okay, whoa. That's what you get for trying to take over the That's segment. what I get. <laughs> Alright, so well, like I said, I have a lot of emails. So just like we did yesterday, we are going to show multiples. We're going to show a lot of them today, try to squeeze in as many as possible. So let's dive right in with the first email that says, Hello, Dan, Stina, and Spencer. Feliz Navidad. And may God bless your family in these festive days. I am Angel Ortiz from Puerto Rico. Me and my sister, is it Marisol? are fans of the Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness and the Creepy Santas. We were shopping and we saw these Creepy Santas. One has really big creepy eyes and the other has no eyes. Here are the pictures and thanks for the great work and hope it continues for years to come. So, Santa number one. Oh, Stina thinks this is a cute Santa. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think he's adorable. She squealed. <laughs> It's like you were looking at a little baby kitten or something. <laughs> I didn't expect that reaction. <laughs> so that's Santa number one. He thinks there's creepy eyes on that one. And here's Santa two with no eyes. <laughs> He's a sheep. He's all beard and hair. Are we sure? Like, seriously? There's a little like... nose. There's a little nose poking out, but that's it. That's all we got. <laughs> Maybe that's his chin. That's his chin? Above his beard? Yep. That's a Who weird Santa. He doesn't have any eyes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> those are hilarious. Well, Angel, thank you so much for sending those pictures. We love them. Email number two says, Hey, Dan, and hashtag Team Stina. <laughs> first off, we wish you and Spencer a very Merry Christmas. We're having our first Christmas with our daughter, Autumn, this year. Aww. We have been watching with her every day and are thinking of buying the Thomas calendar to give her when she's older. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully you guys can still track it down. You know, if you can still buy it, find it somewhere this year, yeah. buy, buy it, it and, and stow it away. And when she's old enough to open it, that'll be perfect. I think we found ours at Walmart. So check the, Walmart. The other perfect one that would be good for us when we opened last, the oh, one that we yeah. opened with Al Frosto. Al, yeah, which Al we Frosto. still have to locate Al Frosto before we the end of the show. The, all we, of uh, we've lost Al Frosto. We'll find him. Don't worry. Uh, he goes on to say, anyway, I submit to you our third year Creepy Santa. We saw this at a local dollar store and thought it was just creepy enough. Happy holidays from Chuck and Sabrina. And this is their dollar store Creepy Santa. It's another yarn beard guy. We've seen a couple of yarn beard Santas this year. I don't get them. They're just weird. <laughs> they are weird. Look at those big I, feet. I feel like they should be like dog toys. Kinda, yeah, totally. Just, it just looks like he's got mop well, strands. And, and he looks like he's supposed to be an ornament. He's got the string. He's got the string. But he's also got these big feet that he's standing on. So I guess he could decorate either way. 
ornament, or it can Maybe stand on your... Maybe he's supposed to look like an ornament that can stand on the ground? I don't know. They're weird. He's a weird one. <laughs> well, Chuck and Sabrina, thank you guys so much. All right. Next email says, Hi, Dan. With all the festivities going on with Creepy Santa and having fallen for yours after that first review of him, I figured I'd submit my own. This here has become a local tradition and a legend in my mom's neighborhood since I was young. This transcends creepy and has officially been named Evil Santa by all the locals. If that weren't bad enough, once the sun goes down, those eyes burn fiery red as if the underworld has taken over the North Pole. Thanks again for all that you do and keep up the great work. Baron. So this is A. Das Baron. He's a buddy of mine. Thanks for submitting this. This is amazing. And I gotta try, like, I, I'm trying to figure out, first of all, what's going on here. So, like, first of all, are they hanging this up as a legitimate Christmas decoration, or are they trying to be weird and, and funny with it? No, Number they're two, trying to keep Halloween alive. Are those red light bulbs that they're using as eyes, did those come standard with this decoration, or is that something they added themselves? Because I wouldn't be surprised if, like, this had, like, clear bulbs or something and they screwed red bulbs in there yeah. but even even like any bulbs anyway is super weird like, like why would he have light up eyeballs well, okay so you take the eyeballs out and he's creepy right already so i bet you someone said that he was creepy and so they just did it as a joke and put the red eyes in there look he, at him at nighttime he, look at him at nighttime looks like he's trying to be crumpus oh or man something yeah like yeah that's that. a crumpus but i mean like the rest of their house is decorated very nicely you can see the icicle I lights bet you and the it wreaths was a and joke somebody said something so they're like you know what let's put red eyes in there though. It's amazing. That is yeah, wonderful. That, that's going to put the fear in children. <laughs> well, thank you for submitting that one so that everybody can see this legendary Santa from your mom's neighborhood. I think that's awesome. All right. Next email. Merry Christmas to Dan and Stina and Little Spencer. This is your fan, Nerdy Pinky. I love your reviews very much, and they are quite informative. I won your Creepy Santa contest a couple of years ago, and I wanted to share the Santa you sent me. He is doing quite well, and has even met a fellow Bell lover. Happy holidays, and I hope your Christmas is filled with that special magic. So yeah, a couple years ago on this show, I gave away, we gave away like three identical Creepy Santas to ours, and this is one of them, and we can see where he's living now. Oh, he's hanging out with Mickey, Mickey. so he, he's in good hands. Hanging out with Mickey. Nice to see him. Yep, have a nice home there. So mm -hmm. that's awesome. Thanks for sharing that picture with us. I love seeing that he is appreciated and that he's got a good home there. Next email says, Greetings, Pixel family. I found this guy outside a local thrift shop, one of those crazy car dealership things, but with a holiday twist. Luckily, he was tied up, but just imagine him flailing his arms around like he's meant to be. I would turn around and run the other way, and I'm a grown man. And just a quick thanks to Dan for letting me not be ashamed of loving toys and action figures as an adult. Your reviews are amazing, and I look forward to them all the time, and I especially love it when you open blind bags. Hope you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. Sending love from warm and sunny South Africa. <laughs> Cheers, Damon. Send that warmth to your Yes, yeah, send that warmth. And thank you so much for the kind words. I'm really glad you enjoy the videos. And yes, all of you out there, this goes for everybody, never be ashamed of the things that you like. Never. Nope. I don't care what anybody says. If you like it, that's great. And this is his Santa. It's one of the uh, the, the flaily arm men guys. The little blow-up guys. He looks like he should be ushering Bailey to the ring for a match. <laughs> <laughs> the way the arm men. I've never seen a Santa Claus one before. He's that's amazing. Pink face. He does have a very pink face. He's been working too hard. He's out of breath. Oh, yeah. He's very skinny, Santa Claus. He's very tall and lean. <laughs> He's got some arms on him. Amazing. David, thank you so much, buddy. I love it. All right. Final one for today. Dear Stina, Dan, and Spencer, I hope this email finds you all doing well. I've been a fan of your video since the original King Grayskull review some years ago, and I absolutely love Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness. Yesterday, my family and I went to see Rogue One in a nearby theater, and afterwards, we went to look at Christmas lights at TMN TMT Farms. Did you see how I added an N in there? I have turtles on the brain all the time. <laughs> 
This family uh, has put together a wonderful light show on their property and take donations of canned goods or money to help the needy in the community. That's really cool. That's awesome. Anyways, while I was there, I saw this very odd Santa in a bathtub. Uh-oh. It weirded me out. I just had to take a picture to share with y'all, but of course, it came out blurry. So I Googled it. Check it out. Hope you like it. Merry Christmas. Alan. P.S. I kept wanting to type TMNT <laughs> Farms, LOL. We're on the same wavelength. That is so funny. Uh, so, here is Santa in the Bathtub. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Which is a really weird blow-up decoration. <laughs> Man, they come up with some weird things for these blow-ups sometimes. Why would you want Why? that? What's the purpose of bathing Santa Claus? <laughs> So he smells good when he comes down the chimney. Why is the reindeer just hanging out watching him? <laughs> he's got to hold his hat. Oh, he, man. He's got to put, that's where he keeps his. Super good stuff. His clothes. The kiss where he keeps his hat and his clothes. Well, guys, thank you so much. We love it. We appreciate all of your pictures, and thank you guys for continuously sending them in. We've only got a couple days left, but we are going to do our very best to show uh, all the pictures that I'm getting. I'm trying my best to collect them all. I'm really hoping I'm not going to miss anybody. If I did, don't take it personally. I'm going to do my best to show everything we can on the show. So thank you guys very much. With that being said, I'm going to take a drink of my chocolate milk, and then we're going to open some toys. How about that? I'd like to point out that this box is getting very light. They're all getting that way. This one right here is getting very empty. Yeah. Look at that. All right. So, looks like today the box from Kevin at SEO Toy Review. I'm going to be opening up another oh, Fungus yeah. Among Us. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and you've got yourself a Thomas. Another Thomas train. I, I got to get this plastic off of here. He's got bells all over him. I'm going to reach over here and grab these. We've got James. James, and, and he's, he's got bells, got all, bells over. all over him. I feel like we definitely hit a point where, where they just became all Christmas themed. Isn't that something? I'm okay Cause like, with that. Well, me too. I love that. But we like, like the first several days, except for the translucent blue one, right. like they're all, all the... normal colored trains. And then, the and then all of a sudden, Thomas. boom. And then except for Spencer. And the dinosaur. They've all, yeah, they've all been, but I, mean, I think even the dinosaur one's like specially themed. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but it's not Christmas themed. It's cool. I love it. But I he's love... awesome because that is going to be Spencer's favorite, oh, favorite man. one. Oh, look at these creepy things. He looks like he has a bar of soap in his mouth. He does look like that. Okay, so let's see what fungus among us guys I've got here. Let's see if I can find out what they are. These things are so sticky. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Oh, you're just going to stick it to my face? Is that going to work? This guy looks no, like a... This guy reminds me kind of like of a Soggy from Captain Crunch. You guys remember the Soggies? No. You don't remember the commercials no. with the Soggies? Old commercials. I don't even know if I can find these guys. Da, 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 da. So there's foodies, there's friendlies, there's specials. Uh, wild. Oh, I'm not going to spend too much time looking at this because I can't yeah. find. Oh, there we go. Meathead is the pink one. Mm hmm. And I can't find the other okay. guy. Okay. So we're just going to leave it be. We'll get a good close up so you can see these weird, creepy things. And Stina's Thomas train. James. James. James, the tank engine. Look at these creepy little dudes. I'll run you over. Oh, okay. Don't do that. <laughs> with creepy Santa car? No. With oh, with, with James. You're going to run me down with the train. No, so far, I think the one you opened last episode, the Thomas is my favorite. Christmas oh, yeah? Version. with the Yeah, that's a good one. With the, the log cabin and the trees and everything? Yeah. That was a and good the one. the stars. Okay, so Ninja Turtles and Tsum Tsum, and we're on day 22. It's small. Where is 22? All the way down here in the of corner. Of course. I got Elsa. You can't have a Christmas Elsa. one without Elsa. Let it go, let it go. Everybody, I, you know you started singing it the moment she said Elsa. The cold never bothered me anyway. You can do them the uh, moves, too. Oh, yeah. Here I stand, and here I'll stay. Did you see me? I did the stomp. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. 
got the story, John. Cold never bothered me anyway. Yeah. That used to be Spencer's favorite song when he was a baby. When he was a baby, and you turn that on, and he would just get so wide eyed and happy, and, and he clap. would stare at it. It was amazing. It was adorable. Yeah. Okay, this is this one's kind of hard to. So what is it's it? It's got tiny little pieces, I believe. Ah, oh. good catch, caught it. I believe what we have here is a little workbench for Donatello. Oh my gosh, I'm just dropping pieces everywhere. With, oh okay. It's got like little. That was like I thought it was a wine glass. Wine <laughs> glasses. Yep. Oh well, no, that one's gone. Well, from uh, from. The way you were holding it, it looked like it was an upside down wine glass. Let's see, how do you put this thing together? What color oh. did you lose? The little purple one. It dropped. You see it? No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It fell. I'm gonna do this and fall back. This is one of those times, you know, when you drop a small toy and then it just vanishes somehow. That's totally what just happened. So here, in the meantime. Granted, I can't see all that. Oh, there it is. Oh, you found it. Now you wait till you put the rest of it together before you put this on. Okay. There. Oh my gosh, they're. I don't know why it's popping off. I don't think it's supposed to be popping off like that. There we go. Okay, see? Because it's like a little beaker holder Got is what it. it's supposed to be. Okay, so <laughs> after all of that, thanks for bearing with me. Uh, we got a little workbench for Donatello with a little beaker and, uh, yeah, see? It little, holds the little beakers and everything on there. Elsa. It's pretty sweet. And there's Elsa. And she is sparkly too, but I she should be sparkly. Elsa should be sparkly, yeah. you're right. She's all frozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us for the 22nd day of Advent Calendar Minifigure Madness. We have two days left. So I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow for day number 23. Until then, I am Pixel Dan. And I'm Stina. Take care, my friends. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, here, here oh, you go. Oh, you have a Chick-fil-A cup. I have a Chick-fil-A cup. <laughs>